future millionaire. I'm a little busy right now, but that does not mean I can't come on and do an update on my phone like I did this morning. Um, it's our 14-year-old's birthday tomorrow. So, Julie's daughter, stepdaughter. So, my stepdaughter. So, she'll be at her dad's tomorrow. So, today when she gets home, we're just getting some stuff ready for after school so she can get some presents and whatnot. So, <clears throat> anyhow, I want you guys to take a quick look here. The DXY is trying to reverse back up. We're bouncing off in the 15 and the 30, the support. So, I would expect it to retest that $96 area. If not, come back up and try to actually push to $96.23. That would help crypto move back down. We talked about PBR and how crude oil had to reverse down a little bit, which it has. We're going to see if it can hold here, but it's been having a sustained rally. And sometimes you just got to come back down and retest these ups. So that's what we're probably going to have to do here. So nothing unexpected. PBR is down a little bit, nothing major. Gold's up to almost 1900 but expect here as well. It's in the very overbought. So <clears throat> this would be the time if you're not a long holder and you're just swing trading some of these. It hit the 1899 resistance perfectly. That's a strong resistance point, I would expect. Actually, it's a little higher than where I put it. 1914, but I thought 1899 at this cup would be a good spot, so we'll just keep it at 1901. But it hit up there perfectly. And now, what you would expect, like you've seen with all the crypto, you'd expect gold to come down and reconfirm 1834, the daily time frame. So if you see a drop off on gold, don't panic, but this is a time where you theoretically could reposition, take your profits, let it shuffle out for a minute and see what happens because we might be coming back down. Fortuna Silver Mines, on the other hand, is lagging behind and it's in a better position. It looks like it still needs to come up to that $4.40 area. So we're going to see how that plays out. Just pay attention. Uh, Barrett Gold, as you guys know, had a fantastic call option that was up about 180%. I sold that and I'm going to put option that's down about 16%. That's good until March 18th. Um, it's down 16% because we went up after I bought it about a percent and a half from the point where I bought it. So it's correcting, but I'm playing on this and then I will get back into the call option. If this plays out the way I'm anticipating, I'm anticipating a retest down here at about the $20 level. It's not a huge retest, not a big move down, but to confirm this breakout, I think it would be suffice to have a bounce on the daily time frame unless it breaks past this area where we talked about right here at this 23, where is it at? 2364. If we can get past 2364, then my put option would be in jeopardy, but it's got over a month to come down and retest this old breakout area. And that's what I'm anticipating. We had an overzealous run up because earnings was pretty good. Beat earnings by 3.91% on a estimate. We had a little bit extra, 125 million more in revenue. And then it was up about from 0 0.30 estimate to 0.35, up 16.98% on earnings. The revenue was up as well. So that's good. So that means we're looking pretty good here. But I think we're we're due for a retest. We came up, as you guys know, I bought it. And it was down at about the $18 level. It had to come all the way down to $17.34. I bought it right down here, about 18 whatever. Like just over 18 somewhere around here, 18.20. Wrote it up. And now I don't mind not getting the top and I don't mind not buying the, the bottom or the top down the very top. So I know how call options and put options work. So we just try to play this game. I also have some put options on, where's it at? Fuel cell made a crazy run up to $5 and 40 something cents. Actually it was a little bit higher. I took out the put at 550. So right now it's up a little bit, like 15% today. But I'm looking for an overall move on fuel cell because I think this was a big fake out. I think it could come up a little bit more, but it's got about, what, four or five weeks on the option. So we're going to see how that plays out. That's just so I don't get too tempted with my crypto market. Now, crypto, on the other hand, isn't looking good. Total crypto market cap down $8.5 billion to $1.86 trillion. If you guys watched my Swing Traders Anonymous last night, we talked about how Total crypto market cap would have to come contend with the daily time frame. And if it failed that, that's when we could have significant moves down. Right now, it's not looking good. Total crypto market cap is below pretty substantially that 1.871 trillion resistance support line that it needs to be above on the daily time frame. We've got Bitcoin. I had a 41,803 drop that I targeted out yesterday. 
we're below that, and I told you guys with a warning, if this stayed below that, we would have to go down to about the 40, what is it, 39,000, it's 40,009, 39,032, but I have a target on that blue of 38,569 if this were to break down and become a continuation of the downside. So anticipate that if we don't move back up in the relative short term. If you see a daily close down here, that's going to open up a move down around 40K or 38.6. I think XRP is working on a move to 76 cents. You can look back at my headline yesterday. I targeted move was right around here. I don't know why it's not on here still, but I had a targeted move down to 76.4. But I said 75 cents is the support in the area. It was just to, to make an equal targeted move like Bitcoin made. I thought we would come down to this area. And then if we touched there, we could, in fact, if we held top side, we could start to come up and start this bullish divergence to come straight through and that would get us up to about this area if we don't come through and we come down it's the equal move to the downside and you'd expect us somewhere around 64 cents and then ultimately you'd break right through there and start down at 52 cents and restart this and see what we do from there so that's our two options here pay attention be alert because there is no guarantees the only guarantee is i'm the best in the business the most trusted technical analysis and when everybody's telling you it's going to the moon when it's going up when an inverted head and shoulders, I show you even on an inverted head and shoulders where the gaps must be filled to make the run. Stay blessed, everybody. And remember, help one person each and every day. Because if you don't do your part and I don't do my part, who's going to do their part? And the younger generation is going to be left out. Hashtag be better, do better.